one. Hi everyone, I am Christine Jossie of Mail Something Pretty and I have to show you these adorable little Tootsie Pop holders. I think they're perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, you can certainly make them for any occasion, but I think um, these are, it's just, they just remind me of a cute little Valentine's Day treat and I love the little owl on them. The owl is from this stamp set, Adorable Owls, and it is, oh, I should have had it available, sorry. It is a free item from the Celebration Catalog for 2023. I think it's right here on the first page, yep. So you get these cute little samples on here. If you spend $50, either in January or February, you can choose this for free or other things in the catalog too. But I just wanted to show you where I got it from. And then when I first saw this owl, the first thing I thought of, um, grew up with that, you know, the seventies. <laughs> and we took, we remember we were taking field trips on buses and the, um, the teachers would give us Tootsie Pups to kind of keep us quiet. And then, you know, how, how many licks can I, you know, to get to the center? And so look, there's that owl that I was thinking of. And so I tried, it's again, it's not the same, but I was trying different ways. Like I, try, I stamped them on um, Sahara sand, kind of similar in color, but I just didn't like how he came out. So I tried different blue colors. Um, I didn't have a Pacific point, which is probably more of the color of the blue. So I ended up with the balmy blue eyes. So just so you kind of see where my inspiration came from to make these cute little pop holders. So I'm going to show you how I did that there. They come together really quickly. Um, so I use balmy blue paper. You can use whatever you want. Um, and it is size six and a half by two and a half and I scored it at two and three quarters and three and three quarters and then that just gives like a little base for the Tootsie Pop. If you use a different lollipops just kind of measure the width of your lollipop and you can definitely adjust that. Um, I did put some, oops, uh oh, fix that one later. I put um, hearts on it. You could leave it plain if you don't have any hearts but I don't really have any designated Valentine sets, but I did see that my well done had a little heart in there. So I'm sure that you have some hearts and some sets that you already have. Um, check your paper pumpkin kits because I know there's lots of hearts that come in there and I'm just using Bami Blue and I'm randomly just throwing on a few hearts here. Um, so remember when you do it though, so like say that's the front and that's the back. So you have to turn it upside down so that the hearts are going in the upwards direction. Certainly could have upside down hearts, but again, this is a quick project because if the little, I'm sure the little kid you're going to give it to is just going to whip up the pop and, and just kind of discard <laughs> the cute little holder that we really like. All right, so I'm going to stamp my owl. Let's do this over here in early espresso. I just thought it's one more, um, you know, it's a brown outline for my brown owl. And I am going to use blends markers. So typically I would use memento ink with the blends markers. So I'm just going to be careful not to bleed any of the um, early espresso. If you wanted to color your owl with, um, say watercolor pencils, then um, just be careful if you color them, if you do early espresso and you color your watercolor pencils with the aqua painter or the water painter, it can bleed. So just be careful with that. You might want to use the stays on black in that instance. So you don't have any bleeding going on. I'm going to use my bronze to kind of create the, the brown. They do have other browns. They have soft suede. They actually have a whole bunch of skin tones also. So um, some of those would work for an owl. But this is what I have. And I'm not blending any colors. I'm just straight coloring. So you could even use Crayola markers, Sharpies. You could use whatever you had. This is nothing fancy. All right, so there's the brown. I'm going to do his feet in orange and the beak. All right, 
And then I decided to do the bow tie. I normally would have liked it red, um, or this is actually, or the color is actually sweet sorbet, but I didn't want that to compete too much with the heart. So I opted to use pink. So I think this is flirty flamingo, which is not quite the pink that's in the paper. But again, this is a cute little quick lollipop treat, so it doesn't have to match perfectly. And then for his eyes, I had mentioned I'm using balmy blue. So this is, oh, my, some of my tips aren't so good. This is the light color. And I find that this bullet tip is darker than the fine tip. I don't know if you found that as well too. All right, so I could leave it like that, but I did try to make the, the inner eye a little bit darker. So what I can do is either I can use the darker color or I can just use the lighter color and just go over it a couple times. And each layer of color will build upon itself and it will make it darker. All right, so that's that. And so I'm just gonna cut them out. So um, if you have trouble cutting, I'm gonna give you two tips. One is um, you could take a pencil and actually draw an outline around him or her. And then you just cut on that line. Oops. And I find that that sometimes works. And the other tip is, so now I'm just gonna cut right on the line. I don't even have to pay attention to um, making sure I have white space. So you just follow that line. The other tip is notice how my scissors aren't moving. They're staying in the same spot and I am moving my paper. So see how I'm rotating the paper and the scissors stay in the same spot each time. And that is another helpful scissor trick. Now I could go around the, each hair and make it perfectly cut, but again, this is a lollipop treat that is going to be the dismantled almost immediately. All right, so that's easy cutting. So I'm just gonna put that right on top of this. This is actually from the Valentine paper. Little hearts on the back. I liked the stripes. And then you could have your stripes go, you know, straight up and down. You could have them horizontal. I kind of like them on the diagonal, but you can rotate yours however you'd like. And then I'm just going to take a lollipop Again, I'm going to use my glue dots. I found that this works out what I thought best. Probably could glue it. Oh, these ones are on the outside. I have some glue dots that are on the inside and some that are on the outside. So I'm gonna take my take your pick tool, the paper piercer part, and just lift up the glue dot and place them. I'm going to place two, one on each edge. Oops, spinning around here. And then two towards the middle, leaving room. My stick is going to go in the middle. Right? Oops. So my stick's going to go in the middle. And hold that there. And I'm just gonna squeeze them shut. You certainly could glue it together, but then it would really rip when they took it out. Um, so this way, at least you could kind of salvage <laughs> the container. So that sticks. And then you can either use a dimensional or you can glue it directly on. I actually meant to, to glue it on first. So let me just throw on some dimensionals. And then I have, I should have, uh-oh, here it is. 
I just cut a heart out. Um, I'm sure you must have a heart die or a heart punch somewhere. And if not, you can just leave it as is. But I just put a little heart, red heart on there. Oh, and we need to top it off with ribbon. So I have, this is I think from the annual catalog, the mini ruffled ribbon. I like the texture of it. And a simple knot, nothing fancy. Just a simple knot. And that's it. I might kind of trim it down a little bit. There you go. All right, so we'll clear this mess around. So then you have these cute little Tootsie Pop holders that just sit right up because you have that inch wide base. So they just sit up really nice. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. Again, this features the adorable owls from the Celebration catalog. Um, it is really, really cute and you can color them many different ways. Um, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done also already, as well as visit my blog at mailsomethingpretty.com and sign up for my mailing list. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your pops and happy Valentine's Day. Okay, bye-bye.